Michelle Muscatello with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Michelle, I had a great time with Tony yesterday, uh, marching in the Aquidneck Island Police Parade. Uh, great weather for a parade. Not so great if you have a parade today. Mm, not so great. You know, better though this afternoon. Good. We head into the second half of the day. The showers are going to be nearly as prevalent or as widespread as we saw this morning. And in fact, what's moving through right now is almost the, the last batch. There may be one more beyond this, but over Providence, Warwick, uh, East Providence, down through New Bedford, portions of 195, we're all dealing with more of this uh, light rain moving through our area. There's another shower just across Westerly, heading out of New London, and a little spot shower sprinkle over 395, too. Behind that, though, it does dry out at least for a while. This afternoon, city cam, gray skies, kind of damp in province, still some raindrops on the camera lens. And despite all that, we're still very mild, 71 degrees. The humidity is high. Winds have picked up. They're out of the south right now at about 12 miles per hour. Big temperature change. If you're at the coast, the Coast Guard house right now only coming in at 60 degrees while we're in the lower 70s in our inland areas, about 66 at Sakana Bay Manor in Tiverton. Satellite and radar, it's a cold front that's been sparking these showers. We even heard a rumble at Thunder Susson. Briefly, heavy downpours over our area early this morning. Notice again how there's a little bit of a lull, even a little bit of brightening off to our west. And then there's one more line of showers and potentially even an isolated thunderstorm stretching from uh, northern Vermont down across Pennsylvania. And that still has to work its way through. That's the cold front there. Behind the front, there's not a lot of chilly air, but what there is is some drier air. So the mugginess that you feel in the atmosphere right now will be gone by tomorrow. We'll have this second cold front come through tomorrow, and that may spark just a stray shower in the evening. Most of tomorrow looks nice and dry and even bright. And our future cast shows that. This is 2 o'clock this afternoon. So you'll want to keep the umbrella on standby for the second half of the day. You'll be able to get out and maybe take a walk, though, as you head into the later afternoon, early evening. Maybe a spot shower for the drive home from work, but not as widespread or as heavy as what we had this morning. By 1130 at night, it's long gone. Skies are already clearing, and tomorrow morning looks like a bright Bright sunny start to your Tuesday. I uh, just need to grab the sunglasses, but again, it's going to be a very mild afternoon, well up into the 70s for highs late in the day. Now, this is 2 o'clock, still bright and sunny and still dry. Watch what happens very end of the day. Here comes that second cold front, a couple of spot showers around at 7 o'clock in the evening. It's nothing heavy for tomorrow. For this afternoon, breezy. Again, just a spot shower, mostly before 3 o'clock. Temperatures, with the help of just a little bit of sunshine, should be able to climb up close to 80. Now, if we stay overcast all all day. These temperatures are probably going to end up too high, but I think even just a few breaks of sun at the end of the day should pull us up around 80 in downtown east side at 79. Central Falls at 78. Tea of Green, no major travel problems. 79 at Green, 78 in Barrington. Along the south coast coming in much cooler, closer to 70 or 71 for westerly. 80 for Coventry, while northern Rhode Island should climb up close to 80 degrees as well. Just a spot shower there. And across the eastern Massachusetts, mostly cloudy. Better chance of some showers right around 70 to 75 for both New Bedford and in Fall River. Tonight, we can pop open the window. It's going to be a nice night for doing some uh, sleep with the windows open, lower humidity, temperatures around 54 to 59. Another warm day on Tuesday, highs in the upper 70s inland, closer to the low 70s at the shore. Wednesday's a dry day at 77, still warm on Thursday. We cool off a bit for the end of the week, and it looks like by the end of the weekend, it's back to some more seasonable temperatures, which are in the 60s. We're only in the first week of May, but it certainly know. doesn't feel like it. And you know what I like to do on Mondays, of course, look ahead to the... <laughs> yeah. to He's the... already looking to Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> All right. Thanks. For